by side of the microphone for the green light to the speed trap. Ray Garino and Joe D calls them as they seize them, and you better believe them. Here, relevant news, biased opinion, and outright nonsense regarding every aspect of automotive culture. Gas with mechanical trickery never before broadcast over FCC regulated airwaves. Thrill to the explosive tension as Ray and Joe cuss each other down track. Barrel roll across the finish line, laughing at certain disasters as they shake hands. The devil. <laughs> All that and so much more at high noon this Sunday on the Motormouth Radio Hour. Call in and speak live with the wizards of speed and the live eat, Ray Carino and Joe D. Bring the whole family, kids under 12, get in free every Sunday at noon on WHBC. Take the Hempstead Turnpike to the Meadowbrook Parkway and look for the no parking on the expressway and no express service on the parkway side. Go right on Highway 24 to Garden City. $2 all-day parking includes pit pass. Providing professional broadcast training to qualified Nassau Community College students. And sounding better than ever. FM. HD. Amazon Echo. Google Home. The TuneIn Radio app. The iHeartRadio app. And nccradio.org. The voice of Nassau Community College. This is the award-winning 90.3 WHPC. WHPC HD. Garden City. On the air. Everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, yes, all you heartbreakers and soul shakers out there. You are listening to Long Island's only automotive radio talk show, Motormouth Radio, with your host, Ray Guarino. Co-host, swingman, XO, man at the con, Joe D. Hey. What's happening today, Joe? My God, that, that, so some people have wine solos. You have record solos. Oh, God. yes, I do. <laughs> I was sitting there yesterday shooting some pool saying, uh, I was actually listening to an Elvis album, and I said, boy, what's the music for tomorrow going to be? I don't know. And I said, hey, you know what? Nazareth. Let's yeah. go with a good old crusty golden oldie, and we pulled it out and of our And, of hats. course, you got it. Yeah. That's, I, you never cease to amaze me. Well, thank you, Joe. The other thing is, uh, it's just... Some people pull out HEIs out of their back pocket, and you pull out music. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I bet you there's an HEI in there, too. Yeah, this, I was going to say, there was weird mechanical stuff, too. But if you want to get in touch with us, you can play, too. You can call us at 516-572-7440. Check us out, of course, on our social media outlets on the web, motormouthradio.com. Twitter is the same. Motormouth Radio and Instagram, Joe's favorite, real underscore, underscore. Motormouth Radio. Because we do put up pictures of stuff that we do and uh, and get involved with. Uh, I've had a couple recently, I've gone back into carburetor land so and, and found out that my new phone, my new cell phone, has a really, really extraordinarily excellent camera. I got the picture of the inside of jets, which... <laughs> yeah, that... It even blew me. I was like, wow, did I just get a picture? Of what? And I only had to do, like, two shots to get a, a decent one. I was like, my God, you... <laughs> Put the coffee cup down. I'm telling you, I was so super impressed. So again, you, to, to find that information, we talk about it, and you can call us and ask about it, but sure. follow, us, follow us on Instagram, and you can find it. Also, go to the website, because we have um, articles, new things that we put up. The decoder's been updated. Yes. Uh, there's, uh, there's stuff up there about the Malba show still that was updated, and... Um there's all, there's, so, yeah, there's, there's, there's a always constant something. flurry of activity. Constant, constant content, if you will. Yeah, yeah. Well, basically, that's just that's mo- mostly you getting into trouble. Well, and yeah. My stuff stays. My stuff stays under the radar. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. That's because I I have a phone that you know if I try to take a picture, I get like this. You know, the bird comes well, yeah, out. There's a bird and, and, and a flash. And, yeah, and it kind of <laughs> poof. No, no, it <laughs> comes phosphor. out. And it, 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 it carves it out a piece of wood like the Flintstones. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Those yeah. suckers get heavy. So I, yeah, I, that's I, true. And I've found a way to put those on the interweb yet. So yeah, yeah. You know, because we'll work on that. Yeah, you know, I mean, because I really loved at some point. We got, I got to figure out some way to do. It. I'm going to maybe find a way of strapping a video camera to my head because some of this stuff that I come up with is pretty cool. So yeah, you know what I mean. And just to pass it along to in case like uh, people get strange stuff. Well, I had a good one yesterday. That's what happened? The, um, Talk to the me. Shop calls me up, and he goes. I got this buzzing noise in the speakers of this uh, this Hyundai Santa Fe. I'm like, okay, uh, did you get the beehive out of the door? <laughs> yeah. Goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go great wise guy. You know, um, so I get over there. And <clears throat> the first thing I usually, you know, and I heard it. 
<clears throat> so I start screwing around with the car a little bit, and I noticed that the uh, the noise get, gets worse because he said it was really bad yesterday when it was raining. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I said, well, let's simulate a rainy day. So I start turning on the wipers, the lights, and the things start going. Zzzz. Oh, without any like, water, just with the uh, just with the devices. Yeah, yeah, because you know I've had things with like slipped in belts, stuff like that. He goes, yeah, l- and look at the uh, the pernendal. The pernendal is uh, is oh. flickering a little bit too. I'm like, yeah, that ain't, that's, that's some type of fluctuating voltage thing, right? So next thing, scan tool comes out. You know, grab do a, do a code scan, talk to all the modules. And see so who's present and who's not. <clears throat> yes, you know, hi, how how you doing? You know, it's like taking attendance when you show up at class. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And pretty much everybody that showed up had some type of a low voltage complaint. How, oh, now how low was low? Uh, well, the, the one of them said it was less than eight volts. Wow. And I was like, eight volts? Car can't even forget run on eight volts. I mean, you, the the threshold on most vehicles is somewhere between nine and ten volts. Yeah, yeah. sure. After that, everybody just kind of packs up and leaves. You know. Yep. So. At that point, I started flipping through, it and I went and scanned data. I, actually, the best scan data I got was, uh, was it ABS? No, it was the engine. And uh, <laughs> I, I, I graphed it, and it, was, it would start at 14, then it would go down, it would hit, it would hit like 9, then it would come up, then it would go, it, it was just, it, instead of a nice straight line like you usually see in the scan data, yeah. I had like, it was all over the place. It looked like somebody's EKG that uh, uh. just drank like a couple of Red Bulls and like grabbed the jumper cables or two. Right. <laughs> so, at that point, out comes Mr. Fluky. Okay. Good old Mr. Fluky, put it across the battery cables, and it's solid as a rock. Okay. It's like it's like thirteen one, four, thirteen two. You okay. know, I'm per- perfectly happy with that. And I says, okay, start looking for voltage drops and stuff like that. And um, I'm like, well, nah, everything seems to be fine. I'm like, okay, now it's time to go back probe the computer. You know okay. what I mean? But like, most of the modules are kind of complaining. So I'm standing there looking at the looking at the car because you know, it's like I got to take a, a general look around because uh, in case somebody left some grounds loose or something that they, they, they had done work on the vehicle, something like that. Okay. Yeah, you know, because it goes back to the famous motor mouth saying, what was the last thing you touched? Yeah, exactly. That and was um, Mikey T's line, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that, you know, there, 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 there are a lot of little voices in my head, and that that's one of them that rings true quite a bit. And then, of course, then I go, oh, the battery cable's tight. And that, uh-huh. and that, was, that was one of the first things that I learned from my mentor master yang Mm -hmm. and i go you know that's awfully loud yeah and i turn around and there's master yang behind me oh (laughs) no wow (laughs) so you basically channel in real life the the entities right i was was like speaking of the devil you know i was like yeah he was he was there for he was visiting this particular shop for another reason and um sure enough I grabbed the I, I touched the battery cables and they're not flopping around. So then I grabbed the positive and I started muscle a little bit. Yeah. And sure enough, it was loose. Wow. And tightened it up. Problem solved. Beautiful. You know, and basically, what, what, what the, uh, the takeaway from this is, anytime you start with an electrical problem, you know what I mean? You always start with the basics. Grab them battery cables. Make sure they're clean. Grab a handful of them. Give them a good give them a good yoink. Mm-hmm. You know, make sure because this here, I sat there with the fluke meter. And there were minute fluctuations between the terminal and the actual post on the battery. Mm-hmm. But the only way I could see them was in the mid-max feature, which you know, it grabs like tenth of a second. Right. Tenth of a second fluctuations. I mean, I could have done it with a scope, but I was too lazy. But right, right there, just do that stuff first before you make yourself crazy. Yeah, well, it's like the, the, the kiss. The, you know, we talk about Keep the kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Exactly. Yep. And, uh, and you're right. I mean, that you, we so often, you get... A job to do you get charged with a job and you think about you know just getting in and doing that job but a lot of times you forget about the peripheral or, or what other stupid things might yeah be. The, the, the dumb crap will get you because that was my next call yeah. the reason why uh, he happened to show up is that he went and he had somebody that uh you know a friend of his that had a air pump code on a benz oh boy and i was like a later model benz too i'm like you know i do not touch these 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 German cars. Yeah, the Teutonic the wagons, you know. Right. But, you know, he's like, you know, come on before, you know, I, I don't want to drag it over to the shop because it's going to become a thing and this and that. So anyway, long story short with that, it was the uh, the air pump. So I grabbed the scan tool again. Uh-huh. You know, I, I think I should just like have that thing, you know, surgically grafted, uh, grafted yeah. to my body. And I commanded the air injection pump on. And of course, it didn't work. So the next thing you do is you pop the connector off. 
And um, he goes, but I put a new pump. And I says, no, not, not Yang now. This is the, 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 right. the owner of the car. I go, I go never, ever worked. Mm-hmm. So we checked power. We checked, we, we checked ground. We had ground, but we had no power. Right. Went back to the relay. And, okay, and here's another basic lesson. Okay? Relays. You always, you know, if you ba- your basic four-prong relay that's in most cars, all right, you're going to have two powers. Mm-hmm. All right? You're going to have one control side, which is your, your ground, which usually comes from the computer or whatever module. Relay. Relays are almost always controlled on the ground side. Yeah. Okay? And then you have the pin that feeds whatever it is you're going to feed. Yeah. So I only had one power. Uh-huh. And I'm like, okay, so where's the, uh, ooh, yeah, so where's the, the uh, innards of something here? Yeah, yeah. the guts, yes, I, I got to squint a little harder with that. Yeah. But uh, sure enough, um, I started looking, of course, I print, I emailed uh, a diagram to mm-hmm. these guys, and of course, the diagram is on somebody's, you know, kitchen table. Yeah. So I was like, okay. So I just kind of tried to do, go by memory, and sure enough, he goes, well, there's the fuse over there. That fuse looks good. It's a 40-amp fuse with the air pump. Right. And I'm like, but wait a second. The, you know, the fuse does look good. It's one of them big plastic ones, you know, that you look in the window. Right. And it didn't look all, it didn't look all pufficated or nothing. That's good. So uh, I start looking, and I says, you know what? Screw this. Grabbed Mr. Fluky again, went between the fuse. Made sure there was power coming into the fuse. Went to the other side and went to the uh, the pin on the relay that gets powered up, and there's no power. I just read an article in Motor Magazine. There is a type of fuse that looks like it's continuous, but it's not. Yeah, I, I heard about that. Yeah, I'll get you the article. Yeah, yeah. So what I do next? Grab the grab the uh, the fuse. Put an ohmmeter across it. It's open. Yeah, there you go. It's friggin' open. So of mm-hmm. course, next thing I went. <laughs> John, you'll you'll know this noise. I went, <laughs> <laughs> ripped the fuse apart, and sure enough, there was a minute little break in it. Yeah. So, got a fuse. Problem solved. Have a nice day. Yeah. But keep it simple. Boy, that was, Always check the easy. You know, that, it, it's not the easy stuff. But what you got to do is you got to check the basics. You got to make sure all your stuff is there. That was two softballs, boy. For in in. Yo, Pretty much, yeah, but you know, the, both, could have been major. Both, both of these were ongoing things for their uh, respective uh, yeah. owners, there, whatever. But it's just a matter of going back to the basics. You know, relay stuff. I don't care what kind of car it is. You know, what I mean, if, if you know, just about every car I've made in the last like forty years has got four pin relays mm-hmm. in it, and you know that two powers, one ground, and one one fed. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's a thing. So once you figure that out. And you find out who's there and who's not. Right. You can, you could cut down a lot of time real quick. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So uh, yeah, that was something that I wanted to buy that I haven't done yet. It's a tool company. I've gotten a bunch of uh, my uh, connector tools from in cleaning, you know, t- uh, terminal cleaning uh, uh, products. Ipa. Uh, yes, that's who it is. Yes, uh, they yeah. s- they have the relay socket. The to, the relay test. It's it's basically a socket. You plug it. You pull a relay out of the out of the, the fuse box. Put the socket in. Put the relay in that, and it has wires that it's come a out. Relay, buddy. Yeah. Yes. As a matter of fact, that's on my list. That's on my list. my list. Yeah. We if got the anybody, same list. If anybody's listening, yeah. Well, we wear the same clothes, Ray. Right? Come <laughs> <I know>. on. <laughs> just, just, as a little quick aside, we we both get out of our cars at, uh, in the station parking lot this morning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're both wearing black pants, mm-hmm. our blue Steve Steve Linda uh, shirts, denim shirts, you know, yep. and, and we. we pretty much look like twins except for the fact that i'm like three three feet shorter and <laughs> <laughs> three feet shorter. Jeez. yeah and, and seven feet wider oh uh, boy <laughs> you should listen to herbally yours on this station joe tuesdays at three thirty. might as well get this in while we have a chance here because maybe it'll it'll, it'll uh it'll it'll herbally, you, up. Herbally you know what mine. hold on a second that's the wrong one i was supposed to read no this one i need this one yes uh, i guess there was herbs involved just now huh there was <laughs> high fidelity thursdays at 2 p.m this is something you would like hosted by kim tracy featuring a mix of music with a focus on new music the herb one. right and lesser known artists again thursdays at 2 on the station whpc we got a lot of good stuff on here you know absolutely Yo. so we're gonna we're gonna take a break mm. we are gonna do that because um, we, we just need to take a little bit of a rest. And we're going to come back. We may be talking with our good buddy, um, Steve Hayes. We'll see if he's uh, if he's going to call us in. Oh, that fabricated guy. Yeah. Yeah. So I know, just like in... Um, Hot Rod Innovations, I think it is. Yes, yes. Yeah. So just like in, in high school, I know this was a song that you used to, uh, that you were singing all the time for some of those girlfriends you had. Uh, Miss Misery, remember that from, uh, from Nazareth? <laughs> <laughs> we'll- 